The summer's almost over and the days are getting shorter again. It's time to leave for the last tournament of the year. Leaving. Have you. All packed, ready to heading off to the Southern Alberta Walleye Trail Tournament number three of the year. The first two tournaments of the year, I took my boys out so they could experience what a fishing tournament was all about. We learned a lot and got an experience of a lifetime. For this tournament, I invited someone I met earlier this year on another trip. How's it going? Good, how about you? Good. Good. Zach the Fisherman has a lot of experience fishing walleyes up north, however he's never been to the Southern Alberta Reservoirs. Hopefully our experiences together can help us find the walleyes and put some scoring fish on the board for this tournament. There you go. I do. We are lucky to have the Southern Alberta Walleye Trail organization put these tournaments together. We get a wide field of competitors from all over Canada and the United States to the tournament. There are always lots of prizes and promote conservation practices for the fishing tournaments. We are geared up the night before and ready to get an early start to the morning. So, oh, never been out boating in the dark before. This is a new experience. Lots of fun though. Can't wait to get the day one's tournament started. Good. It's so enjoyable being out here with all the other fishermen and seeing all of these other boats on the lake. After all the boats are in the water, everybody gets in their starting positions. Once our boat number comes up, we throttle up and race down the lake. I still have lots to learn on how to navigate a boat on waves, but this being my third tournament, I'm starting to get used to how to navigate these waves from all the boats. In this tournament to avoid fish kills, you need to be fishing in water depths shallower than 25 feet. Swimming off to the right here. Yeah, there's three of them right here. Right off to the right. We mark a few fish on the sonar and set up a trolling pattern to see if we can catch them. Zach quickly hooks up our first fish of the tournament. For a walleye to count, it needs to be 45 centimeters or longer. This one turned out to be way too small. So we tossed it back, hoping to find some bigger ones in the area. After trolling for another half an hour and not triggering the fish that we were seeing, we decided to switch over to a jigging pattern. We were on the fish, and Zach decided to put on a lesson on how to catch these little ones.
Zach was absolutely killing it in the morning. He hooked into about 10 fish before I decided to switch up my jigging pattern to match what he was using. Talking to the other anglers on the lake, it seemed like everybody else was just catching small ones. Not many scoring walleye being caught. I was keeping Zach on the walleyes, and he continued slaying them with his jigging technique. At this location, we never did mark any large fish, but these small ones were fun to catch, and we were hoping a large one would eventually move in. After a couple hours, I finally hooked into my first walleye of the day. Nothing big, but finally a fish. I think Zach totally fished out the small walleye location, so we end up moving after not catching a fish for about a half an hour. Putting the trolling motor down and the live scope, we start scanning around to see if we can find some bigger marks and hopefully a larger walleye. Got one. Oh, that feels better. This fish is definitely bigger than anything we've caught so far today. Jack, I want some walleye. Yep, yeah, this might measure. Close. If you're in a walleye tournament, don't do what I did here. Shit, you almost jumped for the boat. Could have met, yeah. Taking the fish to the bump board, we're hoping it measures enough to be our first scoring fish of the tournament. Yep, he's a killer. Just 45. We take a couple photos as per the guidelines of the tournament to make sure it's correctly recorded. We're on the board. Part of the tournament also includes boat inspections. Make sure you're following the rules and that all of your hooks are barbless. As it gets later in the day, the wind picks up and gets a lot cooler out. The walleyes are still biting, however we are back into the small ones again. Yeah. 
It might be a hybrid. Oh, that was a better hit, but... Eh, uh, small one. Our technique of slowly trolling spinnerbaits was effectively working, but everything we're catching was very small. We actually were not seeing a lot of large, we actually were not seeing any large marks on the sonar. So we were guessing the fish were either deeper down or hiding in locations we have not hit yet. The bite was definitely consistent and even turned into catching lots of perch. Overall on this day we probably caught close to 50 or 60 fish. As we run out the time at the end of the tournament and catch our last fish, we see the other boat speeding by and know it's time to get back to the dock. As I approach the dock in time for the end of the day, I need to drop off Zach so we can submit our score and go get the truck. At the end of day one, we only ended up with one scoreable fish, but that's why it's a two-day tournament, and hopefully we can do better the next day. Starting on day two, we approach the boat check, where you're giving your measuring board, and they check the live wells, make sure you're not carrying any bait or fish. It can be so disorientating launching a boat in the dark. It's great that everybody has their navigation lights on so we can clearly identify all the boats on the water. We're gonna do better? We're gonna do better. Conditions are clear and cold this morning. We are clearly marking some fish on the sonar. So it's time to pull out the bait and the spinner jig to see if we can trigger them to bite. Starting day two off quickly, it's opposite to the day before. I'm the one getting into all of the small walleye bite.
start. No, it's real small. Oh, he's still on. That's how small. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with seeing them. There you got him. Oh, you guys can only be counters. Oh, this one feels bigger. Uh, I'm at it, I think. His mouth's just open. <laughs> Locating the fish on this reservoir is not the problem, as we can tell with this double header we got. Well, it's a double header. Yeah. It's the walleyes over 45 centimeters that we cannot seem to track down early on in the morning. Better size than that. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I mean, that's an yeah. Our trolling pattern of spinners and bait is consistent. We're catching fish, just not the size that we need. I mean, that's an 80. <laughs> they worm. Don't you dare get me. <laughs> oh, here comes the pelicans. <laughs> Double header. <laughs> That's crazy. <cool. laughs> two hooks, two fish. <laughs> That's why it felt so weird. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon? Locating a very high concentration of perch and small walleye, we decide to stick on this location a bit longer and see if the bigger ones will eventually move in. Whoa, okay, that's, that's a better hit. Yeah, that's a good fish. Okay, come on, be a, be a walleye. Oh, you're not coming up either, okay. Oh, going down, going down. Yes, all right. Woo! One, I'm gonna say. <sighs> it 
this wall I end up measuring 51 centimeters so we're able to take a picture and count it for our score. Before you put them back, let's show you. Alright, our first counter. Nope, didn't even work. So tight to the bottom there. As Zach pointed out, we are starting to discover that the larger walleye were right tight to the bottom, and we were probably passing over most of them in the last couple days. It's always interesting fishing these tournaments and having boats so close to you, you can see them catching fish that score also. Some teams try to show them off, others try to hide them. Doesn't matter to us, it's all fun and we enjoy the experience. Those will be cut. Three today. <laughs> a lot of tiny ones this trip. It was approaching the end of the tournament day, and we knew with our one scoring fish we weren't in the running for any prize money. We wanted to get off the lake before there was a huge lineup of 50 other boats that wanted to get out, so we decided to pack things up early. I want to thank Zach for coming on down to southern Alberta to fish with me in this tournament. I had a lot of fun fishing with him and really enjoyed the experience. Please go on over and check out Zach the Fisherman's YouTube channel. He puts together some great fishing content that you'll really enjoy. If you're also interested in participating in one of these tournaments, check out the Southern Alberta Walleye Trail website and they'll have dates for the next tournaments that are coming up. Once again, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave some feedback or suggestions in the comments so we know what you like.